guess you give an inch and you lose a mile You wander off and get lost for a while You learn to dread Good morning beautiful people, we are packing everything Every day it starts uh, sweating, uh, trying to feed all our stuff uh, into this three luggage. Uh. Day number four. Today we will drive from Quevedo to Salinas and we will start at 80 meters above sea level and then we will reach 4,010 meters altitude today. We will face a lot of different climate types and Temperatures, probably rain. See you on the way. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, we are driving since six, seven miles through palm groves, beautiful. And we are exactly in the middle of a plantation. They make uh, palm oil. So it, there is a big production of palm, palm oil here in Ecuador. It seems uh, quite surreal. It's beautiful, but at the same time it's sad. To think, uh, not here, but in some places of the world, uh, they are taking off the uh, Amazon rainforest uh, just to plant all these trees. Uh. Yeah, the production of uh, palm oil is increasing. They need to cut the trees in Indonesia and the Amazon forest as well, just to plant other palm trees. You can find palm oil almost in every product, in soap in um, cream, uh, cereals, chocolate, everywhere. Okay guys, as you may see, it's raining uh, and we just put our keyway, our ranger. Our ranger. <laughs> I'm the blue one, Sara is the green one. <laughs> I like it. And you know what is the worst? They need to go to the toilet now. <laughs> it's all wet now. But we are super covered. We are super covered. I have only one problem. The helmet keep closing. And I cannot see with the helmet. Every time I change gear, it's closer. I think we are almost at uh, 1,100 meters altitude. So we climb a bit from 80 meters above sea level. But it's nice and cozy inside here, guys. We love this jumpsuit. You ready? We are doing this off-road till Salinas. And it's raining. It's raining and this is the situation. It could be really slippery like yesterday. So I jump off the motorcycle. Just to be sure. Slippery? Better than yesterday, yeah. I think it's all like this. Well, we can go together now. Are you sure? This red mud, uh, it's terrible. It gets, uh, it stuck in your wheel. Now it's uh, it's okay. But yesterday, yeah. it stuck on our wheel. We fell and we couldn't lift the bike because the bike, we tried to lift it and she keeps going like this. This is clay, so it gets all stuck and it, with water it gets so slippery, it's impossible to ride there. Let me try. Guys, 
this is getting worse we can barely ride on the motorcycle so sometimes I need to walk I can't see anything it's a disaster it's a disaster <laughs> how slippery it is. I don't know if you can see with all this fog. Oh. We made it till here. We we did 10 kilometers off-road. Only 10? Yeah, only wow. 10. But we, we, we are going like uh, 25, 30 kilometers an hour because uh, it's uh, way, it, now it stopped raining, but it was raining and it's uh, really foggy. There uh -oh. are these clouds. Uh. Oh, muddy. So we have uh, still 60 kilometers to go. And when we were on the motorcycle, we need to be synchronized in every movement and to balance our weights. Lucas was really a good driver, is a, a good driver. So I, I feel really safe when I'm on a motorcycle with him. At the same time, it's not relaxing because you need really to uh, pay attention to every corner and to balance your weight. You need to dance with the motorcycle and your uh, and your driver. Let's try to do a drone footage. Let's yeah, guys, see. because the landscape is incredible. We are 2,000 meters. Uh, I'll show you right now. We passed through several villages. Keep on the shell Goodbye boxer and goodbye band Say goodbye to your country again Goodbye equals and hello guns Men do whatever they want to us I've been pulling stones till I expire a couple years until I can retire I made a kid and I got admired I settled down with someone who inspires A gut life I knew Tried to dance two on a day She's a kindred, consistent See the clouds are there moving, going up. That way also. It's a hard job to get dressed. <laughs> okay, one layer. Second one. And then we have this one, right? The jacket. And this is the the worst one. Okay. One. Ah. Done.
Bentar deh. Tug, this little mountain village in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we are 3,150 meters of altitude. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's starting to get a little bit colder. Muchas gracias. Vamos a comer almuerzo. Yeah, guys, we are super hungry. We will yeah. eat uh, and catch you and later. The, yeah. Buen appetit. The people that live in here. Uh, our Quechua indigenous community. This church, I don't know if you can see it because it's too foggy, was the main church in the main plaza right there. It collapsed in uh, 1976 because of uh, an earthquake. How they build the, the new one, uh, that is this one. And Italian missionaries rebuilt the new church for the town of Simiatug. We had lunch here and now we'll continue and we will go to Salinas, it's 30 kilometers away. So we need to climb a little bit more. Now I have to sit there and <laughs> it's all wet. But you have the jump the jump seat. Okay. Ciao, gracias.
We may be dead. We may be dead. So we parked the motorcycle inside yeah. here. Ah, super cold. I can't wait to take a hot shower and then to visit some farmers. I don't know, they, they make chocolate cheese here. Salinerito. Okay, where are we, Sara? We are in Salinas, uh, in Ecuador, and Ecuador is famous for the best chocolate in the world. We drove through miles and miles of cacao plantation, we are amazing, and the smell is really strong. Here we can smell the, the smell of the chocolate, the one that we know, but when you drive through all these beautiful mountain roads, you can smell it's like wine, but it's chocolate. It's some, something that is fermented, so it's really strong. Let's see if we can make a tour or something and learn something like Check it out. Here. here you can see they are making some chocolate. Uh, <laughs> actually, right now they are making some uh, white chocolate. Uh. Ah, here you can see, look. All this is to, to buy chocolate money, chocolerita. You can see this. Wow. Después de todo el proceso que se le da al cacao, eh, el tostado, el molido, el conchado, el chocolate ya en proceso bien y se almacena aquí en este tanque. This first machine is a storage of uh, 475 kilos. Then uh, there is the second machine. You can see the chocolate there coming down like rain. That machine gives a temperature to the chocolate so they can work it. Then they go on the other step where they put the chocolate in some stamps to make the shape. And they put it in the fridge for half an hour so they get hard. And then they go on the other room where you can see the ladies over there and they make the packaging. Now they have a new machinery and they can pack. This is one pack everything faster and they produce 1000 kilos of chocolate every day chocolate review chocolate review wow <laughs> this is the best chocolate <laughs> in the world <laughs> this is the best chocolate in the world how is it? it's good or not? good yeah good yes it's good who started all this? Uh... Italian is from Venezia. They said that before he arrived, Padre Antonio, Padre Antonio. Before he arrived, this town was without roads. Now the roads are not so good, but because they are making new pipes, um, pipes for the water, so that's why the, the roads are so bad. But before he arrived, there was nothing here. So thanks to Padre Antonio, the Italian missionary that came here and now this town is has everything pizzeria cheese chocolate everything
guys, we are eating Italian pizza in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in a place called Salinas. 3,500 uh, meters above sea level. Yeah. And I got a salami and a queso mix, a mix of I have cheese. A margherita and a capricciosa with the artichokes, uh, olives, um, mushrooms, and ham. Let's dig in. We'll try this moonshine. Alcohol. One is with uh, chili. chili and the other one is with lavender. One is uh, spicy you will try first. and the other one uh, is a little bit more sweet. Uh, let's try it. Uh. Okay, I will try first uh, the one with chili. I think it, this one was a lavanda. Creo que es chili. Eso es chili. Ah, spicy. I Spicy. You can feel in the nose. No, lavanda. Ah, si. Sí. You can smell the lavanda. It's sweet. <laughs> Kevin make us uh, the delicious pizza you saw in the video. Oh, that was great. And great. now we will drink all together this uh, kind of aguardiente. Salud. Salud. Gracias. 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 Good evening, beautiful people. <laughs> I'm trying to warm up myself out after all day off roading. This is the, our heater for this room full of windows. So as you can imagine, we are freezing. Guys, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already. We love you. We appreciate you. Catch up tomorrow morning. See you in the next one, guys. I love you. Ciao! Pam! Sara, I have to tell you something. What? I stole your leggings. <laughs> what? I stole your leggings. Christmas leggings. No way! What are you doing with my leggings? <laughs> <laughs> with all the hearts. You're not supposed to. Where did you. I bought it. I got it in Lucky View. I you. bought it. You got it in Lucky View. I you. bought it at the tree stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> had his name. Uh, tree stop. <laughs> had the name. Tree store. Tree store. Thrift store. I bought it at the thrift store in Canada. Okay, for two dollars. Look, look, look at what he's wearing. My we name have is hearts, stars. Uh, by boxer in the bye bed Say goodbye to your country again